Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. I've already dealt with a few more. Yeah, sounds good. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Do spacer's choice guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation... Yeah. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Oh, that guy's excited. Here we go. Oh, okay, he's dead. Oh, poor guy. Okay, she doesn't say anything. I don't think. Again, I already did this. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Oh, yes it does. Marauder, please open. be informed Fuck. that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. Oh, shotgun. What the hell? I actually didn't go to this part of the ship. Be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Might be something over there. Please be advised that using the re specification machine will not make you a better person. Please be informed, the ship has no crew for you to murder. Okay. Unauthorized act. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada. Please be informed that I am authorized oh, sorry, to use skip. violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. Some supposed to be happy. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Oh, I want to put this one, but... Nah, I... yeah, this one. Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. 
I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Okay, but I'm not Hawthorne. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. Felicitations? <laughs> you don't understand. My name is Snooze Fest. I understand. You are going undercover with an alias. I will update my discretion protocol accordingly. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I leveled up in this part too. Put this one in dialogue. Because why not? All right, forgot about that. Okay, I put walking in this one because I know there's going to be a part that's going to force me to walk. Hate that. Oh my god. Oh, wait. No, I probably should have read this. <laughs> probably should have read that. What's that shotgun I found? Is that it? No, oh, yeah, that was it. Yes. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Gotta head to town. But it's okay, because I... Well, it's not like I needed to know how to get there. A big dot right there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I didn't see this last time. No, yeah, that's a guy. Right. 
What? Check it is it. Got me, guys. Yeah, I'm probably better off with the rifle. Free shit. I'm gonna die. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's my rock. Sorry, skipped it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm used to skipping it. I'm used to skipping stuff I've already seen. All right. Just pass it through here. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Do it for the XP. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Power regulator. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Yeah. Huh, okay, last time I did this, I got a side mission from this guy. Fancy threads. That's some kind of hibernation suit. What? We didn't even talk whatever, I'll take it. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Oh wait, no, that's gonna get confusing. Can I take this off? Oh, okay, never mind. It's because there's multiple ones. Silly me. Silly, silly me. Silly old snooze fest. That sounds really bad, really nasty. It's just... Can't deal, can't deal with it. 
I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Silas and me, you owe your gravesite fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automaton made of iron and lies. Oh uh, yeah, gotta watch out for those mechanicals. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Yeah, I'll take another mission. I've been gathering up a you can never have too many years. Missions. So tuna cans mostly, some spaces chaw, a few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. I don't know what a bit cartridge is. I'll take it. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. All right, I'll let you be. All right, I guess that's gonna do it for part ado. That's French, I think. All right, whatever. This is the end of this part. Like, subscribe. Don't. Don't really care.